Hey Geraldine, to start with, would you like to introduce yourself a little bit, talk about where you're from, what do you do and where do you live? Hello Olga, nice to meet you. First of all, thank you for having me here. I'm Geraldine, I am from Venezuela. I am a psychologist, I, use, I study psychologist, but now I work as a front-end developer mm -hmm. here in Barcelona, Spain, well known in internet as Chica Code, create <laughs> content for Instagram and also for YouTube. Feel free to ask me anything you want. So actually, when I was looking at your profile, I was so surprised that you were studying clinical psychology and then you became a developer. How did it happen? Well, I studied psychology, yes, clinical psychology. And then I work as a psychologist for a couple of years in Venezuela. And then I came to Barcelona. I learned different skills and different things as um, communication and creativity, product development, naming, also branding. And then I realized that I wanted to do something like uh, more real, for example, transforms these ideas into something that could share with people. I can create something in the web, you know? I'm not currently working as a psychologist. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. have patience, but <laughs> I always think as a psychologist. I think that is important to me to have a technological skills mm -hmm. with psychology skills. And when did you actually understand that psychology is not what you want to do professionally? It's not that I don't want to be a psychologist professionally. Yes, I, mm -hmm. I want to be, but maybe in the future. But right now, I, I feel like I'm creating something values a lot with technology mm -hmm. the clinical psychology is really really good is very theoric coming from psychology and going into coding i guess it was maybe complicated to study coding so how did you approach it it was really really difficult mm -hmm. it is difficult to me also now i'm working and it still is difficult in that moment, I thought that doing a bootcamp, it was the right option. So yeah. I enrolled in a bootcamp here in Barcelona and I studied for five months, eight mm -hmm. hours per day, web technologies. Wow. I start, yeah, because it was like intensive bootcamp from mm -hmm. nine o'clock until five. HTML, CSS and JavaScript, a little mm -hmm. bit of React.js. After five months of that, I got a job as a React developer in wow. a company. And mm -hmm. then when I was working, I realized that I knew nothing. And I said, oh my God, I don't know anything. I, you know, it was like um, <laughs> that moment when you feel yeah. like you're here, but no, you're going <laughs> down. <laughs> It was yeah, really wow. frustrating, you know? Yeah. It yeah. was horrible. As a psychologist, I need to learn to read a lot. I yeah. need to read, understand like the abstract things. I pick a book, how to code. And I start there doing a small practice. It was Python. Then I find a mentor here in Barcelona, are really good people who are able to teach. And I found someone in Barcelona um, Activa, which is um, mm -hmm. a place here named the IT Academy. And well, then he taught me a lot of things about algorithm thinking, about backend. So I choose .NET Core technologies with in C Sharp because I wanted to understand not just the client side but also the core of the application. And that was what really helped me. It's very interesting that you saying that you had this urge to, to learn back and to understand what is inside. Dark side. <laughs> the dark side, exactly. Yeah. So what tips would you actually give to yourself if you would start over? Do a research by my own and uh -huh. use tools like Free Code Cam or Code Academy, coding for a year by yeah. myself and understand the patterns and understand mm. the fundamentals and then after that okay go to a bootcamp spend the money you know but my mistake was that i did the bootcamp before because mm. i thought that it was the good way. I actually also 
felt like they suggested they're so expensive and I could not afford it when I was starting. It was like 8,000 euros or something. I, I thought like it's a good thing that you immediately got a job because this is actually a tricky part, right? If you're self-taught, say but come and it's this something, but like if you just show a book, they would be skeptical. Yes. Did it work out for you to develop this algorithmical thinking? Because I think this is a very essential thing which people learn in, in college, right? Every person who wants to be a software developer needs to develop their algorithm thinking. Choose a problem, mm -hmm. set a goal, and break it down in a small pieces and mm -hmm. see how to approach that problem. First, think about it and then code it. Do you like to do mobile development or web development? Or what kind of development do you actually enjoy doing? I'm currently working in web development. What we're using right now is React.js, TypeScript, CSS Framework tail Tailwind. Mm -hmm. We are using Next.js for one application. For the yeah. other one, we are using Redux and Bootstrap also. No JS. Still in the front-end part. I'm not doing yeah. back-end yeah. here. Those are mostly front-end technologies, except Node. Is it actually a coincidence that you're working in a company which helps people to like basically improve their mental health with your psychological background? Was you planning for that? No, not at all. A friend? a full stack developer. She told me, oh, Geraldine, you're a psychologist. Uh, why don't you apply to this company? Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, oh yeah, why I don't go and apply? In that moment, I was working with C Sharp. And I said, okay, I'm going to apply for, you know, see what happened. Yeah, And I apply and I do the test, technical test and meet the team. And I don't know, everything go well, you yeah. know? That's really cool. Yeah, I would say that's like a perfect job with your background. Yes. Yeah. This is like my dream job mm -hmm. because I'm working with the technologies that I like, the front-end technologies. Also because the team is really, really cool and I learn from them. They learn from me, you know, there is a really good mm -hmm. synergy, you know, doing something that I we could we can help people around the world mm -hmm. I, I never found that before in the other hand one of my skills my soft skills is to to teach people you know i used to be a teacher before when i was mm -hmm. a psychologist one of the things that i like to do in my dream job is to mentor and teach another person women men you know person that mm -hmm. wants to be better become a developer a really good developer but for yeah. that i need to be a really good developer so <laughs> i'm now learning i think you open up a lot of new information to people and inspire psychologists to become developers thank you olga for having me here and for doing this job because you allow to other people around the world see that women like you, like me, like others are building the future.